I was wondering, walked out with this thing, you know. <laughs> Get my car, start singing along, and realize I still got the microphone on. <laughs> Back on the morning brew with friends, and we're having a great time talking about all the crazy stuff we were talking about, the, the smart glasses a second ago, but there's way more to technology than just that, because you guys use these cool heart band monitors at the studio, right? Yes, we use heart rate monitors. Some have um, the, the watch to go with the strap, mm -hmm. and some of them have uh, an, an app to their phone. And so it's really great because we have everyone training at their specific heart rate. So, so you know if somebody's at 120 beats per minute, they should stay there. and Or they should go up. Or they should go up. 120, 120 yeah. isn't enough? No, no. Well, Some of these guys, we need to get them up to 140s, 160s, oh depending on their age and their, um, their exercise level. So uh, we'll do that, and then they stop at a certain point. So mm -hmm. usually within 85% of their max heart rate to 74% of their max heart rate. What is a max heart rate? How, what would that even be? 200, um, 400? Um, there's a, I'm, I'm not an exercise, I'm a solid <laughs> guy, I'm not an exercise guy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a simple method, the Carbonin mm. method, it's 220 minus your age, and then that uh, would be your max heart rate. There's other ways to determine that, but. Um, so mine is yeah. about 208? <laughs> I love that you guys are like, I'm do the math real quick. It's <laughs> awesome. You guys probably get really worked up at the new restaurant, though. I mean, especially when you're just opening a place, because the grand opening is just now kind of happening, right? Right. It's it's been extremely busy, and we stay busy nonstop. Excellent. Because that when is the actual official grand opening? We had our grand opening. It, it, it was it, on okay. Jan, uh, January 30th. It was actually January. 30th. It was January. 30th. Excellent. And so you guys have now been open a little, over two weeks. A, little, a little two weeks. That's very cool. And what are you finding now at the restaurant? There's, there's got to be some surprises. There's got to be things that you're realizing. Well, like when, logistics of right. you know, the kitchen, how we set it right. up. Because you in your them. head you say, oh my god, this is exactly how I imagined it working. Right. And, and then you get to work and... And, and then it's like an epic fail. You know, right. we all of a sudden say, okay, we need to refigure this overnight right. and make it work. Right. Was, was there a lot of that when you launched into the business? No. Um, I mean, I had three trained chefs, all from Le Cordon Bleu, including okay. myself. So we all pretty much knew kind of like what works, what doesn't work. But it's mm -hmm. just the little fine, fine details that don't work, like right. know, just the small things. Right. Are there, are there dishes that you didn't think would take off that people are really, really hungering for? Yeah, um, uh, well, like the ribeye sammy, I wasn't yeah. certain about it, you know, cause, I mean, it was a great combination, yeah. flavor profiles, but everybody, when you go to certain demographics, people are used to, you know, like, sitting in New Mexico being mm -hmm. And so it was very interesting when I made chimichurri, which is an Argentine. Uh, Absolutely. It's got the you know, similar profile. Right, right. Yeah. With Gouda cheese and, right. you know, so, so people, people are a little skeptical about it, but now people love it. Oh, very Sounds cool. delicious. Right? Yeah, it is. Right. It's, it's totally delicious. In Brindleo County, this, the, remind us of when the uh, Backyard Gardening Series starts. It's going to be starting in um, March, so just a couple weeks. We're going to be um, doing the second and fourth weekend, Saturday of March. It'll be 9 to 12 o'clock at the Gutierrez Hubble House in the South Valley. Well, that's the new spot. Well, kind of new. I mean, the county's owned it for a minute now, but it was remodeled not too long ago. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's a historic uh, property that dates back to the 1860s. It's along the old trading route, the Camino Real, and it's absolutely beautiful. And so we didn't, um, what we did, it's been around for a long time. Um, we opened it up in uh, 2008, but we recently put in some a, an exhibit, so you can go to different rooms now, and they have period piece furnishings, interpretive signs, and a whole new Ramada area. It's really, really pretty. Very cool. We can find more of that at burnco.gov. That's right. And then you can find more of us, the Morning Brew with Friends, on social media. You can find us at, on YouTube, uh, just backslash Morning Brew, and the Facebook, you can find us at Morning Brew Show, and then of course we're on Twitter, at My Morning Brew. Just tweet us, find us on Twitter, we love it, we love connecting with all of our Twitter followers, and we also love it when you check out our brand new website, themorningbrew.tv, where you can see wonderful pictures of me, and uh, <laughs> there's also clips to everything and links to other shows. It's a great fun website, check it out. And then for Finally Fit, you guys have... Finally uh, Fit, we have uh, finallyfitabq.com. Finally and then, Fit ABQ. Uh, they can also contact me, Rebecca, at finallyfitabq.com. And Rebecca at finallyfitabq.com is the email address for the scholarship. Yes. And then do you, you guys have a brand new site up too we at the restaurant. Uh, forkfig.com. Forkfig.com. And I'm going to dig into some of this salad before we <laughs> get out of here this morning because this is, it's, I, it's really an amazing salad. And I got to pick your brain and figure out how to make some of that, uh, some of the dressing. 
Sure. I'll get some dressing recipes. Maybe we'll share those next week on The Morning Brew with Friends. <laughs>